Good morning everyone and welcome to day 34 of the quarantine workout plan. Um, it is a Monday where I am, it is the start of another week and I'm determined to make it a positive week. Um, yeah, I don't know if anyone else is finding but being in isolation for so long, I don't know, sometimes you have good weeks and sometimes you have bad weeks and I'm determined to set the intention this morning to have a good week ahead of me. Um, so yeah, keep a look out for the channel, we're gonna have some more stuff going up hopefully. Um, but yes, I hope everyone's okay. I hope everyone has had a good couple of days um, and is looking forward to the workout ahead. So today we have, yeah, a nice mix, a nice mix of things. We don't have any um, hardcore cardio at the end, but we've got some nice bits mixed in throughout. Um, so I think we should begin. Open a window and let's get started. Okay. So, hands on the front of the thighs, sliding down towards the floor. Take a deep breath in, breathe out and sink a little bit further. Take a deep breath in. Breathe out and sink a little bit further to the floor. And once more, breathing in. Breathe out and sink a bit further. And rolling all the way up bit by bit by bit by bit. Fantastic. Okay, on the front of the right leg, down we go. Take a deep breath in, breathe out and sink into it a bit further. It is amazing what happens to the body when you regularly stretch. It's very interesting. And rolling all the way up. And the other side. Down we go. Take a deep breath in. Breathe out and sink a bit further. And again, deep breath in. Breathe out. And sink further into the leg. Okay, rolling all the way up for me. Let's do some of our leg swings. So hands on your hips, hold them on if you need to. Swinging one leg for me. Good. And the other leg. Is my balance good enough? Oh, no, it's not. <laughs> Good, okay, now we're gonna open up the gate. So knee up, out to the side and down. Alternating, holding on if you need to. Good, keep it up. Very nice. Okay, what we're going to do now is I want you to reach up and lean across. Let's get a stretch all through there. And back and the other one, reach up to the ceiling and then across. And back to centre. Okay, forming a ring with our arms and from here we're going to just rotate round. This always feels so nice. <laughs> And 
last little bit, just with the neck, figures of eight for me. And rest there. Okay, so that's our mobility done. We now are going to move into our cardio warm up. So, four exercises, 30 seconds of each, starting with marching. So, off we go. Good, 10 seconds down. Halfway there. Ten seconds to go. Three, two, one, and rest there. Okay, we're now going to move into our marching and punching up. Obviously, it can be done in the chair as well. Off we go. Punching up and marching. Good, keep it up, we're halfway there. That's it, keep going. Five, four, three, two, one, and rest there. Brilliant. Okay, next one, I want you to do heel digs. So, tapping the heel, sitting exactly the same. Off we go, tapping the heel. Ten seconds down. Halfway there. Good. Five seconds left. Keep it up. Three, two, one, and rest there. Our final one is we're going to do a kick in front. Holding on if we need to. Kick in front. So let's go. You can add as much anger as you like into these kicks. <laughs> Ten seconds down. Just try and avoid any furniture around you. I'm the worst culprit at kicking inanimate, inanimate objects by mistake. Good. Keep it up. Five, four, three, two, one, and rest there. Brilliant. Okay, our workout today, let's have a little look. So, as, as per usual, we've got two exercises per circuit, um, and we're going to go through each circuit twice. So, first exercise, we are going to do plank taps for our first one, and sit to st stand in the chair for the second one. So, first exercise, leaning against the wall, Bring your bum back, your, your legs back for me, keep your bum down. And what you're going to do is you're going to alternate between your arms. So what I'm doing from there, touching the shoulder. Um, I said try and keep the bum down, you don't want to be doing this. Try and keep the kind of shoulder in line with the hip, in line with the ankle. Okay, so that's number one. You're just going to be going through your taps. The second one that we're going to superset it with is our sit to stand. So from here, wiggle yourself towards the edge of the chair. The chair. Ooh, I'm in a nice ray of light here. But you're going to lean forward and we're going to do 30 seconds getting in and out of the chair. Try and have your hands on your hips rather than your hands on your thighs. Um, and also try not to kind of like, you know, throw yourself back down. Try and, you know, edge of the chair, up, down, up down etc okay so let's get started on our first one our plank taps over to the wall we are going to go in five seconds three two one off we go good ten seconds down 
Finding this easy, move your feet a little bit further back. 10 seconds left. Five seconds to go. Three, two, one, and rest there. Brilliant. Okay, let's get our chair ready. We have our sit to stands to do. In fact, I might come out of the halo a little bit. There, that's a bit better. Okay, so let's get ready in five seconds. Three, two, one, off we go. So you can't see me when I do that. Keep going. Keep, 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 keep going. Ten seconds down. Halfway there. Ten seconds left. Five, four, three, two, one, and rest there. Brilliant. Ooh, shake the legs off for that one. We do have obviously another set of both. So let's head back over to the wall. We've got our plank taps in five seconds. Three, two, one, off we go. Ten seconds left. Keep it up. Five, four, three, two, one, and rest there. Okay, last one for our sit to stands. Now, my little trick with this one as well is um, make sure that your feet are a little bit wider than you think. If you do it narrow, it's really difficult. So have your feet a little bit wider, hands on the hips, Shuffle towards the edge of the chair, and then we're ready to go. So, we're going to go five seconds. Three, two, one, off we go. I probably should have told you the tricks and the tips at the start of the first set, really. It was a bit mean. Good, we are ten seconds down. Keep up the good work. 10 seconds left, five seconds to go, three, two, one, and rest there, brilliant. Okay, we move swiftly into our second circuit. So second circuit, again, we've got an arm and a legs exercise. So arm exercise, exercise number one, you will need one tin for. You, are, again, seated or standing, you're going to pop the tin above your head, you're going to drop it down to behind your head and back up again. So we're working these muscles in here, our triceps. Okay, so that's exercise number one. Exercise number two, for anyone who's had a hip or a knee replacement will remember this one, if they did their physio, that is. Um, we're going to do straight leg raises, so we're going to do 15 seconds per leg. So one leg, so I'm going to start with my right leg, so nice and straight, touching down to touch the heel on the floor and back up again the whole time, keeping my leg nice and straight. So we're going to do 15 seconds per side. So if everyone would like to grab their tin, above your head, and we are going to go in three, two, one, let's go. So again, not only is this a good one for your arms, but also it gets you into a really nice upright position. So it puts the top of the back in a bit of extension, um, which is, yeah, good for postural, postural things. Good, keep going, we've got 10 seconds left. Three, two, one and rest there nice work so tin goes down we're going to do our straight leg raises 15 seconds per side so leg out nice and straight and off we go good 
good. Three seconds left. Two, one, and switch to the other side. Off we go. Good, keep it up, we have five seconds to go. Oh, that's a burner. And rest there. See, it's surprisingly cruel that one, surprisingly cruel. Picking up the tin, we're gonna go back into our tricep extension, so arms above your head. Three, two, one, off we go. Down and back up again. Good, 10 seconds down. Halfway there. Good, keep it up. 10 seconds left. Five, four, three, two, one, and rest there, brilliant. Tim goes down. We are making light work of this today, everybody. So, one leg straight, getting ready to go, five seconds. Three, two, one, off we go. Good, 10 seconds down. And switching over to the other side, off we go. Five seconds down. Five seconds to go. And rest there. Whew, let's get the leg, give the legs a little bit of a shake out. Mine are definite, definitely feeling that. Um, okay, two circuits down. We are onto our final circuit. So, first exercise you will need both tins for. And in a seated position, what we're going to be doing is our high knee marching box. So again, as you will know by now, the last bit is about us pushing our cardiovascular system if we are comfortable to do so. So from here, punching out in front. That's number one, obviously in standing, exactly the same, so punching, la 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 la. Um, the second one we're gonna do is the uh, heel raise, but you can add a shrug into it. So if you're doing the standing version, I want you to keep hold of your weights and you're gonna come up onto your tiptoes as you shrug your shoulders up, okay? So imagine everything's pulling you up. That's the version with the weights. The slightly simpler version, but by no means less of an exercise, holding onto the back of the chair, coming up onto your tiptoes and back down again. So coming all up to your tiptoes, squeeze through those calves and back down again, okay? So there are two exercises. Let's get ready with our boxing. Three seconds to go. Two, one, off we go. So really push yourself here if you're comfortable in doing so, knowing that we've got the rest period after. Good, 10 seconds down. Halfway there. Good, 10 seconds to go. I know your arms will be aching by now. Mine are, five seconds left. Keep going, three, two, one, and rest there. Okay, I'm gonna keep hold of the tins actually. We're now gonna go into our heel raise and shrug or just our normal heel raises. So, we're gonna go in five seconds. Three, two, one, off we go. Good, 10 seconds down. Halfway there. 10 seconds to go. Three, two, one, and rest there, brilliant. Right, I'm gonna do the seated versions for these ne this next round. So, this is our final round, everybody. Grabbing your tins, pushing yourself as far as you're comfortable in doing. We're gonna go in five seconds. Three, two, one, off we go.
Good. Ten seconds down. Gosh, it's a little bit awkward when you've got an itch on your nose and you're holding a tin. <laughs> Good. Keep going. There is ten seconds left. Keep it up. Keep it up. Five seconds to go. Three, two, one, and rest there. Okay, let's take some deep breaths in. Breathe out. And again, breathe in. And breathe out. Okay, pop the tins down or keep hold of them if you're doing the advanced version. We are gonna finish off with our heel raises. So I said, if you're doing it with the tins, Going up onto your toes, squeezing, squeezing your shoulders up. I'm going to do it so using the chair for a bit of support. We're going to go in three seconds and off we go. Ten seconds down. Good, keep it up. 10 seconds to go. Five, four, three, two, one, and rest there. Gosh, I could really start to feel that down here. Really good. Okay, so hands by the side of your thighs. We have made it to the cool down. So let's take a nice deep breath in. Bring our arms above our head and breathe them back down again. And again, breathe them in and breathe them back down. Okay, last one, hold at the top. Breathe out and just arch backwards. Back to centre. Down to your left. Back up and down to your right. And back up and breathe the arms down. Okay, we're gonna do a slightly different one now because we've worked the calves so hard. So I want you to take a nice stride forward, keeping the back leg straight, push the heel into the floor and just lunge forward a little bit for me. So if you can see my feet, so back one goes back, push the heel to the floor, lean forwards. It's a lovely day here today. My dog isn't barking in the garden today. <laughs> it's very off put as he put him yesterday. I feel like I maybe need to introduce you to him. An absolute terror. And the other side. Maybe I'll get him now and do the final bit of stretching with him. Keep stretching your calves, everybody. I've got a surprise. Merlin! I can hear him jump from the bed. Good, so Merlin! So, good boy, come here. So, now you've finished stretching your calves, we are going to stretch our necks with with our pups this is merlin <laughs> okay so ear to shoulder give it a bit of a pull i can't see you mel good boy and the other side he's actually now just lying on my feet come here mel Pulling across. <laughs> and rest there. 
So, come on, you've got to say goodbye to everyone. Oh. So, well done everyone today. I hope you enjoyed it. I definitely did. Merlin definitely did. And um, I'll see you tomorrow for day 35. Goodbye. <laughs>